Hello and welcome to this video training series over level design with Unreal Tournament 3. My name is Jason Busby. And I'm Zach Parrish. And over the next 20 plus hours, we're going to be teaching you many of the concepts you'll need in order to start producing your very own levels and mods for Unreal Tournament. We're going to begin with an overview of how everything works. We need to get you up to speed with some of the terminology. From there, we're going to progress into creating your very first level. We're going to make it one of those, get your hands dirty quick without a lot of definitions and descriptions. Once you have a general idea of how putting a level together works, we're then going to proceed into more focused topics where we'll then begin tearing apart all of the concepts that go into the creation of a level. That's right. We're going to walk you through Unreal Ed's user interface piece by piece, making sure you understand everything that's going on before you really get in and start working with the individual components. We're going to teach you about Kismet and visual scripting inside of Unreal Engine 3. We'll talk about the generation of materials, which is a very deep subject, and really at the heart of the Unreal Engine 3 look that you've come to really fall in love with as you play Unreal Tournament 3. We're going to take a look at Matinee, which is Unreal Engine 3's keyframe animation system and how you can use it for a lot more than just moving doors and lifts. We're going to animate actually several different things in our levels, and we're going to take a look at special effects using Cascade, which is Unreal's particle editor. That's right. We're going to wrap everything up by taking the time to create this much more detailed level right here, where we've got catways, walks, We've got doors that open and close. We've got special effects with particle systems, slime. I mean, we've got it all going on in here. And once we get this complete, then we're going to show you how to set it up for some deathmatch actions. Right. So with that, it's time for us to go ahead and get started. 